welcome back to A Case of Books. Today I am here with my good friend Eric. I'll let you introduce yourself. Hi, uh, I'm Eric from, uh, I do a book blog called Nonsome Reader and I also have my own YouTube channel. So Which yes. I will link below. Uh, we are both <laughs> super fans of the Baby's Prize and the long list for this year's prize is being announced on Tuesday. So we thought it would be fun to have a stab at predicting what's going to be on the long list. So we have chosen 12 books each and we don't know what each other has chosen. Yes. So we're so going to go through. <laughs> I'm going to see how many we match up mm -hmm. with the aim of by the end of this video we will have a, a master list. A mutual, yeah. I'm sure will be a very <laughs> accurate <laughs> prediction <laughs> of what the, the uh, will be on the actual long list because, um, you know, we're so um, tuned in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start uh, with Margaret the First by Daniel Dutton. Yay! Although I have like a few that I need to like cycle through before I get to Oh, G, okay. But, okay. excellent. Good okay, match. great. Dang. Look, what a good start. Right. We both love that book. Yeah, just like a yeah, beautiful like evocation of like identity and like this, um, this woman from history, this very weird woman from history um, gives her a new life and yeah, I just It's yeah, beautiful and it. weird. Mm. Okay, so I've obviously got some that you don't have. Okay, so The Power by Naomi Alderman, yes. which you must have been expecting me to choose. Yeah, I was sort of expecting that. <laughs> I do <laughs> think though, regardless of personal taste, I do think this is a likely pick. Yeah, I mean, well, it's a very, like, Bailey's type book. I love this. I actually filmed a long video with my friend Roz about how much we love this. Very good. So email, I'll yeah. link to that so below. But, um, yeah. Okay, but that has to go on the maybe pile mm -hmm. for now. Okay. Um, right, we know this isn't going to match, but go for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my next. Well, well, we don't know. Um, it's uh, Nine Folds Mix a Paper okay. Swan by Ruth Gilligan. I haven't read you this. Have? Okay. But I, I know you love it, so. Yeah, it's um, this great Irish novel. Um, about uh, Jewish life in Ireland. Right, here's another one that we know that you haven't uh, picked, and that's The Bear and the Nightingale yes. by Catherine Arden. And I haven't read Which that, yeah. I loved, oh my goodness, this book. It is one of the, one of my favorite things so far this year. Um, it just has everything I love. It's sort of like a retelling of a myth. It's beautifully written. It's quite like lyrical and poetic. And the actual story is about like independence and fighting, finding your own path. My next one. Uh, Homegown. Yay! By, uh, okay. I have that one too. Yes. yes. So I think it's going to be a very obvious choice. Yeah. Um, I think that's the safest. Everybody loves I this book. I think that's the safest like pick. Yeah. yeah. It is. It's brilliant. Great. Okay. My next one that we know you don't have, unless actually we've just alphabetized differently, is mm. Harmless Like You by Rowan Hasao Buchanan. Um, that is not on my list, but I read it, and that's a great novel, and it came very close to like making okay. my list. Okay. So I wouldn't be at all unhappy if that made the list okay. because it's lovely, it's a lovely it debut brilliant. novel. It's really good. Mm. Yes. Okay, great. Okay. We're agreeing too much. <laughs> uh, Midwinter by Fiona Melrose. Oh, I read a manuscript of this when I was scout. I actually thought it was beautifully written. It's just one of those books that isn't like my taste. It's just, it's kind of bleak. Right. But I haven't can... read it read the finished copy. I feel like I'm like wondering whether I <laughs> Yeah, it might have changed this. a bit. There's like some yeah. good jokes in there now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, but no, um I just think it's like particularly good because um she she writes about um masculinity it's basically all it's all about a relationship between a father and son and um and she does this so well. Next one I'm like questioning my like alphabet abilities which as a librarian is really bad. But like I'm like so my next one is The Good People by Hannah Kent. Okay. Which I assumed, I'm like questioning because I assumed you would pick this one. But I haven't read it yet. So, oh, okay, that's yeah. excusable then. Mm -hmm. But you really should. I, I really liked her first novel. It's, yeah, her first novel is great. And I've been wanting to read it, but I haven't got to read it yet. And so I think funny. if you like Daryl Wright, you'll like this. Mm -hmm. It's really, it's very, very strong. My next choice, The Lesser Bohemians by Anna uh, McBride. Okay, so I haven't picked this because I haven't read it, but it is okay. on my list of books that I think will be there, but I haven't read. Oh, actually, we should have said this at the start. I only pick books that I've read, um, so but this yeah. is very much one that I wouldn't be at all surprised to see there. Very uniquely different from her first novel, but also like very much her own voice. Next, <laughs> this is one of my more like left field choices, which is You Two Can Have a Body Like Mine by Alexandra Kleen. The Melville House did release it here, then Fourth Estate like republished it in January. But I think maybe in either iteration, it's eligible. Anyway, I picked mm, it anyway yeah. because it's brilliant and it's super weird. It's all about gender, super like super weird. It's like a diet cult set in like theoretically the modern day. It's so weird. I'm like struggling to summarize it, but that's mm. one of my like left field picks. Okay. 
Uh, my next one is The Tidal okay. Zone by Sarah Moss. This, I didn't pick this, but it was very close. Okay. I think it's brilliant. But I think it's still, even though like a lot of people have talked about it, I think it's another novel that could do with like more attention. Cause yeah. like, and, and she's an author I'd never read before, um, but I was just like blown away. I just read this last week, but it's on my list, my wish list. The Lonely Hearts Hotel by Heather O'Neill. Read this last week, absolutely loved it. It's set in uh, 1920s Montreal. I described it to someone as, it's kind of like, La La Land, if it was like darker and sadder with more sex. Oh. So if that like appeals, <laughs> it kind of reminds me of like Catherine M. Valenti's writing style. That's a, that's a book I wasn't sure about because the cover makes it look slightly kind of popular type fiction. But, oh, um, it's such a snob. I don't know. I know. I know. I'm such a snob. But like, yeah, like it just. I would say um, judging book by mm, a cover, and like I'm just sort of like, mm, do I want to read that? Um, the Laura's by Sarah Taylor. Oh, you know this? Have you read oh this? my goodness! I completely forgot that that was eligible. Mm. Okay, yeah. I think it was out bad, in August bad, bad last year. On me, yeah, because yeah. yeah. There's so much in it about like gender and um, and uh, particularly about because it's about a mother and her relationship with her um, her child, who they go on a sort of road trip together, and the the child um, hasn't picked a gender yet right, and okay. you don't know the gender throughout the whole book okay. um, so it's okay. treads this like line um, and uh, yeah so it's very interesting how that plays out. My next one is Welcome to Lake Lagos by Tvindu Anuzo. Okay I've not read that. Yeah. Really mm -hmm. really like this Um I thought it it has that thing where it manages to like straddle being like incredibly readable and also beautifully written. It's got like a proper plot and like real characters, but it's also beautifully written. It's really moving, but it's also, it, it's really like charming and fun, even though it's set in quite like a gritty setting. And I just thought she balanced the tone really, really well. Very good. So my next one is The Gustav Sonata by Rose oh, Tremaine. Which I knew you would pick. I haven't read it, but I knew you were going to pick it because you yeah, read it. Yeah, it's but, one of my yeah. favourite books last year and yeah, I just absolutely loved it. Um, I think she's an extraordinary writer, but um, this too, like the subject she picks and the structure she uses, um, it's just so good and yeah, moving yeah, in. I have it book. and I like, I know that you love it, so I should, <laughs> I should read it. No, but if you're on tea, my next one is Autumn by Ali Smith. Okay. Well, that's... Have I just got my outfit wrong? Oh, you've... Mm. that's okay, you've got it. That's... R yeah, R -S -T. I have it too. I'm bad. This is why I was never a librarian. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know how to I was things. like, oh, you okay. didn't pick autumn? <laughs> okay, that's not oh, no, like, like a fair mutual pick there. Okay, yes, good. But like, we've both talked at length about how much we yeah. love that book, so... We love that, isn't yeah. Everybody loves that, isn't yeah. uh, My next one is The Three Daughters of Eve by Eva Oh, okay. I haven't read it, I have it on my pile, was going to read it, then heard quite mixed things about it, so... Mm. Yeah, I've heard mixed things too, but um, but I was one of like the first, well, I, I know... Well, no, no, but <laughs> I did, I read it a while ago and like, and, and yeah, I was just really, um, yeah, excited by it. Um, and particularly because, yeah, it like, it talks about, um, really complexly about um, three different kinds of like Muslim women, and like, and you don't often see Muslim women represented mm -hmm. in fiction. Next one, I think might have got... Like again, I think this might be a mutual one. It might be lost in okay. our confusion about the alphabet. Is do not say we have nothing by Madeline Tian. It's what? Like, <laughs> that's one of your favorite books of last year. I know it was one of my favorite books of last year, but when I was going through my list, and it just, oh, like, it just didn't was, like, quite make the cut. Really? We both hoped it would win the Booker last year, and it didn't. Uh, but okay, okay, we can have a discussion about that. Yeah. <laughs> my next one's Swing Times. Oh uh, no, which I haven't read. Again, another one that. I know, right. Okay, <laughs> so I feel like I shouldn't say this publicly, but like, I really have enjoyed every single one of her books, but I have never like fallen in love with one. Okay. And this also got mixed reviews. It did, yes. I think there's, um, if you don't love it as a whole, like there's certain elements you'll really love about it. Do you do it like, at the same time? Do it at the same time, okay. yeah, okay. Do I quite like by oh, okay. Natasha oh, Walter. I don't even have that. I, I know. know and my name is very, Yeah. Um, yeah, very, I think this like novel wasn't talked about at all. Um, Natasha Walter, this great like um, feminist writer, and this is her first novel. And um, I, I thought it was great, like okay. really extraordinary. And I think that should, My Name is Leon is the very like okay. Bayesy sort of, again, has that nice combination of like it's really moving and really readable, but it's also like just so beautifully written. So we have managed only, I don't know, three is pretty good going actually. Yeah, so we I have think so. Have for out of all the books published yeah. by women in the past year. Yeah, yeah, but we, so yeah. we agreed on Margaret First, Autumn, and Homegoing. So that's three. So like the Emo McBride, 
Mm -hmm. I think that will be, I think that will be long listed. Yeah, I think it has, yeah, it's an extraordinary book. It's extraordinary development on her writing and like, yeah, I think it's, yeah, pretty okay. Maybe I'm so can you agree on that. Great. Right. Um, okay, so Good People, I think, is a safe choice as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, she's um, a very popular writer and a very good writer too, um, so. Yeah. Um, are there any, what, which ones do you feel the most strongly about? I feel like we should talk about this because you've read this and you love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, do not say we have nothing. Yes. That, should have won the book. How can you say you should have won the book and not have it on your baby's armies? But I guess, I guess just like in retrospect and I've been like <laughs> thinking about it more, like I can, I can understand people's problems with it, people who have read it and who found it really, it's, it is a challenging reading experience. It's not. It's not the easiest yeah, book to read. You have to admit so that. But it's so beautiful and moving. I it feel is. like it did take me a little bit to get into it. But actually, once I was into it, I didn't find it challenging. It's not like one of those books that's consistently hard work. Once you get into the rhythm of it, I was just like transported by it. Okay. Yeah, it should go in. It should yes. go in. I was wrong. <laughs> Got that video. Okay. <laughs> right. Um, are there any others that we both? Right, okay, I think the only other one of mine that I feel like is a really, like, is a, like a sensible pick as well as an emotional pick is The Power. Mm -hmm. I think that's and likely And it to is, there. like, yeah, just a very, but it's one of those books that I feel like it's almost like, it's so, such an obvious choice for the Bailey's Prize that it's like, it, it might not actually make it, but then, I don't know. But yeah, it, it should go on, because it is okay. a great novel. It's a, it's a really fun reading experience as well as like challenging and you know it like makes you think about gender and like and and yeah well, are there any girls that you feel like really strongly about <sighs> does it make your stuff <laughs> sonata by rose tremaine because no, okay. i love this I don't novel feel, so okay. much okay maybe i need to say instead of ones you feel really strongly about uh, things things that you feel confident will be there i feel like my confidence <laughs> is going to be on i mean she she's she's such a great uh like well-established okay, writer okay, she's been, like, has on. she actually won the Billy's Prize? Woman's so yeah, can we go on? Sure. Thank you. Okay, if we're gonna do that, and <laughs> I wanna put this one, I wanna put the bear and the night scale on. Okay. This is my emotional pick. Mm -hmm. If I can have one of my like personal favourites. I love that book. Sadie? <laughs> um maybe I feel should like we go. Sadie has to I think it's like in her contract that she has to be honest <laughs> with the place, right? <laughs> like, and it's like and it's a novel that really speaks about now, I think about like um sort of like um conflicts in society um, mm -hmm. that, that are, are really like current. Yep. Yeah. Okay. It's on. Right. We've got two <laughs> more spaces. I'm going to yeah. let go. Maybe these three. I think maybe Lonely Hearts Hotel should be on it. Should be on it. But maybe won't be. My name is Leon and you two can avoid that line. Because okay. I feel like of the, much as I think that, you know, I think my twelve are going to be the twelve, but you know. Yeah, Actually, I think maybe that. these two. <laughs> I think, I yeah, so Harmless Like You, I feel like this has been very like widely critically acclaimed mm -hmm. and Welcome to Lagos, which I think needs a boost and it's brilliant and people would love it if they pick it up. So I'm going to um, push aside my other choices and say either Three Daughters of Eve or A Quiet Life by Natasha Walker. Okay. Um, just because I'd, I'd love to see both these novels get more attention and more people reading them and discussing them because there's so much to talk about. <laughs> Do you know what we can do here is cheat a little bit in that we thought there was only 12 books on the long list but there has mm. been a little bit of contention about how many books are going to be on the long list and it has been suggested that there might actually be 16. There might be 16. So we can be, we can let ourselves off the hook by putting all of these oh. in. <laughs> because no. that would be 14 and then we can have, we can have two more. Okay, I'm going to go Lonely Hearts Hotel. I thought it was beautiful and I think people will really love it. Okay, that's my last pick. So we're going to each put in one? Yeah. Well, then I'm going to put in uh, The Lowest by Sarah Taylor, um, just because it's a really interesting, like, queer novel, and I think it'd be great to have, like, a great, like, queer novel in okay. okay, the mix, so. So, those are about <laughs> 16 books. The Power by Naomi Alderman, The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden, Harmless Like You by Rowan Haseo Buchanan, Margaret the First by Danielle Dutton, Homegoing by Yar Jassy, The Good People by Hannah Kent, the Lesser Bohemians by Ama McBride. The Lonely Hearts Hotel by Heather O'Neill. Welcome to Lagos by Chibundo Anuzo. Three Daughters of Eve by Elif Shafak. Autumn by Ali Smith. Swing Time by Zadie Smith. The Lauras by Sarah Taylor. Do Not Say We Have Nothing by Madeline Tien. The Gustav Sonata by Rose Tremaine. And A Quiet Life by Natasha Walter.
We'd love to know what's on your wish list or prediction list, so leave us a comment below or you can find us on Twitter here. Please remember to like the video and subscribe and I'll see you soon.